Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Zack, the secret weapon. It's not how much you can lift. Zack is a slippery melee are. disruptive tank who excels in the jungle or in a solo lane. As a health-based caster, Zack expends a portion of his current health to cast abilities. His kit allows him to dive headfirst into a fight and lock down priority targets while soaking up damage for his teammates. To counter Zack's health costs, let's take a look at his death-defying passive, Cell Division. Each time Zack hits an enemy with an ability, a chunk of himself flies off from his body. He can reabsorb these bloblets to regain a percentage of his maximum health. Enemy champions can also step on them to crush them. Cell Division also causes Zack to break into four bloblets upon death. If any of them survive by the time he recombines, he will revive with a percentage of his maximum health depending on how much damage the bloblets have taken. Stretching Strike punches all enemies in a target direction, dealing damage and slowing everyone affected. Players looking for damage in lane or extra slow should max it first. Unstable Matter causes Zack's body to erupt, dealing damage to all nearby enemies based upon a percentage of their maximum health. This ability is on a notably low cooldown and allows Zack to constantly benefit from Cell Division while fighting. Elastic Slingshot allows Zack to launch himself to a target location after charging in the direction of your cursor. The landing impact damages and knocks enemies back a short distance. Although this can be a long-range jump, a quick cast at short range is great for spell interrupts and damage. Let's Bounce is Zack's ultimate. When activated, he hops four times, damaging, knocking up, and slowing enemies he lands on, while he receives an accelerating movement speed boost. Damaging a single enemy on multiple bounces has diminishing returns, and enemies can only be knocked up once. Even if he's stunned or rooted, Zack will keep bouncing. When playing Zack in the top lane, he should be careful not to overextend to pick up Bloblets from Cell Division. Here, Riven dashes in and punishes him for being out of position. Stretching Strike and Elastic Slingshot are great escape tools. Here, Zack slows Riven just enough to leap out of range. When starting in the jungle, Unstable Matter is Zack's greatest asset. This allows him to clear the wolves quickly, while the sustain from Cell Division prevents him from needing to use his health potions. When looking to gank from the jungle, charge Elastic Slingshot from the brush or Fog of War. Here, Zack flings himself straight onto Orianna and follows up with Stretching Strike for the slow and the kill. Cell Division is a really good baiting tool. Because Zack's abilities cost a percentage of his current health, while the Bloblets heal for a percentage of his maximum health, he's able to survive by spamming his abilities. This buys enough time to give Rise the kill onto Amumu. Elastic Slingshot's long range opens up some unique gank paths. Here are a few examples of ways you can surprise an enemy by leaping over large sections of terrain. While Cell Division is off cooldown, Zack has a little more leeway to dive past turrets and play aggressively. After a successful gank onto Misfortune, two of Zack's Bloblets land at a safe distance, and he's able to survive a normally fatal turret dive. With all his abilities combined, Zack is incredibly persistent and almost impossible to escape from. He slows Lux with Stretching Strike, which allows him to hit Elastic Slingshot despite being rooted. He follows up with Stretching Strike and then hits Let's Bounce. The knockup and slow help his teammates catch up, and he finally takes her down despite Lux's suite of crowd control and shields. In a team fight, Zack's primary focus should be on disruption. He spots Skarner and Sinjao coming in from the side, slows them down with Stretching Strike, and then hits Let's Bounce. The knockup and slow prevents them from following up on Cassiopeia, and Zack's team takes three kills for nothing. Zack can also play a damage role in teamfights. He charges Elastic Slingshot from out of sight. Stretching Strike into Let's Bounce takes down two. Then he turns back for Jax. Stretching Strike and Unstable Matter take him down, and Zack gets a triple kill in a three versus five. When building Zack, focus on a mix of damage and durability. Try Magic Penetration Marks, Armor Seals, Magic Resist Glyphs, and Ability Power Quintessences. It's not how much you can lift, it's how good you look. Go For masteries, try 9210, focusing on magic penetration and offense and general durability in defense. <laughs> on screen here is an example jungling page. Flash, Smite, and Exhaust are all great choices when playing Zack. These allow him to quickly reposition and disable enemy threats. 
Thanks for tuning in to the Zach Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video. Thank you.